assist you. Catherine, don't you have other patients that you need to help? So, the funniest thing happened this morning. Every one of my patients called in and canceled. <laughs> I canceled all of my appointments this morning. <laughs> We've been really busy at the office, and Dr. Miles and I haven't been able to spend much time together. So these next 12 hours are going to be really exciting. <laughs> Miss Ann, hi. Understand that you have a rash that you'd like us to take a look at. I do. Could you tell me when you first um, noticed the rash? It was Sunday morning after I took a hot shower. Mm -hmm. Are you experiencing any pain in that area? Well, I do have some pain, and I have to tell you, it was after a sexual experience on Saturday night. Miss Ann, um, did someone happen to smack you on your bottom during this sexual experience? Well, uh, he did. Miss Ann, I'm sure you don't have a rash. It's probably just a contusion from when he smacked you on your bottom. You really need to be a little bit more careful at your age. Bruising can occur quite easily. I don't know, Dr. Miles. I mean, a little bruising here and there can be quite the turn on. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I mean, one time there was this convenience store clerk. Mm. Oh, Miss Ann, I mean, Miss Ann, Miss Ann, oh, oh. 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 Catherine. <laughs> Look, I'm going to prescribe you something, an ointment, for your contusion, and that should help take away the pain, okay? You think so? Just stay put. I'll be right back. So tell me all about the convenience store clerk. Oh, my Lord. Well, he was a brunette, and he was so hot. His muscles, oh, they popped out of that T-shirt. He was a lot younger than me. I should have been a lawyer. Hey, um, oh, I didn't know you were taping up. Miles, I need a meeting with the entire staff. Right. ASAP Rocky. All right, I know these last few days have been really tough because we've been short staffed, but I've got great news for us all. Ta da! Wait. Are you saying you're taking us all to Jamaica? Yes. Everybody, calm down, calm down. I'm going to Jamaica. As in alone? I've been planning this trip since yesterday evening. Tropical temperatures, margaritas, and black women everywhere. I've been planning this trip since yesterday evening. Tropical temperatures, margaritas, and black sand beaches everywhere. But Daddy, you said that I could go to Jamaica with you. Well, all pumpkin, I know, but Daddy needs some alone time. <coughs> now, I'm sorry, but <clears throat> If I'm not mistaken, you said you had good news for us all. Now, am I the only person that missed the for us all part? Okay, yeah, so well, look, I thought this would be a great opportunity for you all to show some initiative. <laughs> While I'm gone, whichever one of you finds the best candidates for those positions we've got open gets an extra week of paid vacation. Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think? Elated. I mean, <laughs> it's like we get to do your job for you. All right. I know you all are eager to get to it, and I've got a plane to catch, so may the best man win. I mean, person. May the best person win. Y'all have a good weekend. I know I will. This is ridiculous. Yep. Does he just expect us to go through applications for the next week? I mean, it's not even a sin of enough. I mean, he act like he was gonna like take us to Jamaica and stuff like. Right. And I can see like a, a week and a half paid vacation or something. Right. I guess. I'm sorry. I need that vacation time. Oh. No. Regina, bring. The so today's the day. Dr. Ellis comes back from Jamaica, and we were all tasked to find a potential new hire for the practice. Where everybody except Catherine who stormed out last time in protest. Should be a pretty interesting day. What could go wrong?
Good morning, Bob. It's good to be here. That's how they say it down the island, you know. <laughs> well, it looks like everyone took me up on my offer. I mean, how could we resist? Literally. Okay, so let's go around the room. Everyone introduce me to your candidate. And then candidates, tell me why you chose the healthcare field. Oh, wait, shouldn't we wait on Regina? She had a family emergency this morning and she's running a little late. No, let's get it popping in here. Okay, <laughs> well, I'll start. Everyone, this is Monica. Hi, everyone. Um, ever since I was younger, I always knew that I wanted to help people for a living. Actually, my grandmother and mother were both nurses, so gotta keep the tradition alive. And my favorite quote is, the effect you have on others is the greatest currency there is. Nice to have you, Monica. And by the way, that's one of my favorite Dr. Seuss quotes. Oh, it's actually a quote by... Penny? Who we have here? <laughs> This is um, Ben, or Benny, you know, I forget. Hey, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You told me there were going to be coffees and, and, and donuts. So uh, I found Benny standing on the corner this morning holding a will work for food sign. I mean, come on, you're going to go off to Jamaica and sip on coconuts while I'm doing your job? No. This is what you get. Interesting choice, Penny. Let's have a little chat after the meeting, shall we? Dr. Miles? Hey everybody, this is uh, Jeff. Jeff, why don't you tell everybody a little about yourself? Just a little emphasis on a little. So when I pulled Jeff's resume, I was like, this guy is perfect for the position. Then I spoke with him on the phone. And there's only one problem. He doesn't know how to shut up. Uh, I'm Jeff. I've been practicing for about three years. And for me, it all started back when I was a boy and we had a pet hamster. My mom got me a pet hamster and unfortunately one day he got sick and we didn't have enough money back then to take him to the vet. And the internet didn't work the same way that it does now. So I had to go to the library to research how to help this poor fellow out. And you wouldn't believe how resilient hamsters can be when you actually take really good care of them. That actually reminds me of another story about a dog I had named uh, Jeff, Noddles. Jeff, Noddles Jeff, was a uh, that, That's good, Jeff. Okay, yeah. um, as you can tell, Dr. Ellis, Jeff is really passionate about... Talking. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say saving lives. He's passionate about saving lives. Talking. Well, I have to say, everybody, I am impressed. I'm very impressed. And I've made my decision. Already? <laughs> you don't want to look at anyone's resume? No, I don't think so. Let's have a drum roll, please. Uh, folks, let's have a drum roll, please. And? And the winner is Latoya. Ta-da! Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, who? This is Latoya, folks. Dr. Latoya Spies. I met her on the plane ride coming home. Wait, so Dr. Ellis, are you telling us that we bought everybody here for nothing? Yeah, Dr. Ellis, this is, uh, this is totally unfair. I mean, yeah, everybody in here is someone who deserves a chance. Right, Benjamin? Hey, it's Benny. Come on, man. This is not an official HR. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, on, hold on, everybody, calm down, calm down, calm down. Your trusted leader has a plan. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll all take our candidates around to visit our patients today. We'll let the patients fill out a survey and rate their care from one to 10. Whoever has the highest point total wins, right? And just so we don't cheat, we'll all switch partners for the day. Huh? Sound like a plan? It's all agreed then. Great, let's get to work. This is going to be a fun day, guys. Do you know how we're actually going to measure this? Because I'm curious what the statistical methods we're going to use to measure this. They cut that check, though. What you talking about cutting a check? I'm the patient. And then ain't no, you don't pay no bills at the house anyway. Hey, look, don't start. These cameras is real. I don't care nothing about no cameras. I'm going to say what I say in front of the camera behind the camera. got a long ride. Well, I drove. I drove. Don't you know you don't drive. Right. So Hi, Mr. Pearl. Hi, it's so hey. nice to see you again. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Um, this is Dr. Spies, mm -hmm. and she's going to go over your test results with you today. Right. Yes, yeah, so hey, Ms. Burrell, how are you? Um, 
So it's just looking like your uh, blood pressure is starting to get a little higher than normal. And I'm gonna wanna go ahead and start you on some medication today. Oh, no, no, I don't, I don't need no medication. No, if my pressure's high, it's probably just my nerves. All these, all these cameras are here. High blood pressure does run in her family. Ain't nobody asked you nothing, Louis. Oh, well, Miss Pearl, it actually could be our diet, mm -hmm. um, and reducing your salt intake could help get you to a healthy number. So you saying I can't, I can't season my food? Listen, baby, I don't mean no harm or nothing, but we like to season our food, okay? We don't want, we don't want no bland tasting food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You put the fat back in your green. Oh, girl, yes. Mm -hmm. Am I pulling my black card and using it against Miss Pearl so I can get some points? Of course I am. Right. I mean, the key is you gotta fry it up. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt, um, I I'm actually Mexican. And we, we season our food very well. I get it. There's a reason my nickname was Gringa when I worked in a Mexican restaurant when I was a teenager. I understand that. However, I'm offended. I thought she was white. How do I feel about today? Man, I feel great. Great. I love a little friendly competition, actually. Reminds me of a time back when I was a kid with my brothers. So one year, we only had one present under the Christmas tree, and there wasn't anybody's name on it. So my dad comes down and he says, guys, guys, whoever names all of Santa's reindeer first is going to get the present. So naturally, we all start going for it. My brother Chris starts. Actually, it might have been my brother Mark. I'm not really sure. I can't remember at this point. Yeah, it's kind of a funny thing about the brain, right? The way it works. It just doesn't really make sense sometimes. You know, they say that memory loss starts in your late 30s, right, as there's some sort of plaque condition that's happening in your brain, and then your serotonin levels start to drop, and then your dopamine levels start to drop, and lo and behold, eventually you start to get memory loss. And it's a real problem, but nobody really... I don't know if you've ever moved across the country, but I'd be moving across the country to be here, and I'm just trying to understand how to save the most money, and I don't think people really understand Jeff. just how much money you can save, but you can save so much money by bundling Jeff, a bunch Jeff, of Jeff, 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 you're starting to irritate me. And I get cranky when I'm irritated. And you don't want to see me cranky, I promise you that, okay? Look, we're stuck together for the rest of the day. So let's just keep the talking at the minimum, okay? We, let's just do what we need to do. Do you think you can do that? But the thing is, I just, I get really nervous. And when I, when I get really nervous, no, I just no, start no, talking. No, 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 look, no, you, you, don't but, have, you don't have anything to be nervous about. It's just a job. It's just a job. But you know, the thing about my anxiety, and everybody's oh. anxiety is a little bit different, and Penny, I just, I don't think you're fully on, respecting, you're, you're not here. respecting my anxiety. How do I feel about all of this? Well, it's definitely the strangest job interview I've ever been on, but I really like Jen, and I hope we get the opportunity to work together. Mr. Really? Yeah, I don't like, some people like to sit at home, but I like going to the movies, the popcorn. And you know what, Dr. I Miles, too. I've been looking for you everywhere this morning. <laughs> um... Catherine, this is Monica. She's going to be assisting me today. So I texted you this morning and you never even responded. Um, because we've been kind of busy today, Catherine. Um, it's been a very interesting day. <laughs> I'll <Yeah>. second that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do well with competition. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why I just said that because nothing about her reminds me of competition. <laughs> She just better not get in my way when it comes to Dr. Miles. Um, okay, Monica, why don't you say we go upstairs and, and get started, and I'll show you where patient rooms are. Okay, sounds good. All right. I'll come with you. Um, no, Catherine, that's actually not necessary. Um, Monica may not feel comfortable having two doctors over her shoulder today, so I think we can handle this. Oh, no, I don't mind. This could be fun. See, Dr. Miles and Veronica doesn't even mind. <laughs> it's Monica. <laughs> so what? I mean, it's obvious this chick is on a one-way street by herself. But you know what? I think she can use some company. Don't mind if I do. I'm just here for the coffee and the donuts. I mean, nothing better than free food. So... Tell me how you got this cut here. Yeah, I was out, you know, with some friends, getting some coffee over on Dirty George Street, just talking, having an awesome time. You know, we wanted to go to the park, go for a walk. The walk was harder than I thought it would be. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, what did you say? Hey, she said the walk was harder than she thought it would be. Oh, oh, okay, well, please continue. 
Yeah, so the walk was hard. You know, I slipped, I hurt my arm. I thought it would be okay because it was two days ago, but you know, it's starting to hurt, it's starting to swell. The pain is getting worse, so you know, I don't know what to do anymore. She said, the pain's getting worse and it's been swelling for two days now. Oh, okay, well, the, the swelling is just your immune system repairing the wound. I don't think it's infected or anything. Hey, You'll be fine. Wait, 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 wait. Just hold on a second here. Let me ask her something. You had a fever for the last couple of days? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Mm. Mm. Flu-like symptoms? Sure, yeah. yeah. Mm. Excuse me, Doc. Let me look at that arm, please, honey. Good job, here too. And all the way down here. And let me take a good look. Mm. She's got necrotizing fascia. It's obvious. <sighs> How the hell does he know that? This place is doomed. I mean, I could do this on the street better than they can. The only thing I have going for me here is donuts. He's such a well-behaved little guy. Yeah, he is. If his mom doesn't get her act together, I may have to end up adopting him. He's been through so much. Dr. Ellis is about to reveal the results. Come on, Caleb. Hey, um, you don't have to take him with you. You could let him stay and play. I'll watch him. All right, fine. But no sugar. No problem. Okay. Auntie, be right next door, all right, buddy? All right, love you, Auntie. So, what are you into? Uh, I don't know. Okay. You like sports, like football, basketball? Well, I don't know. Okay, so... Oh, okay, I see what it is. Yeah, yeah, I said no sweets. Sorry. Hey, you must be the Jason that my auntie's been talking so much about. Wait, your aunt's been talking about me? Mm-hmm, and for some reason, every time she says your name, she just can't stop smiling. What's she say? What are you? I told you no sugar. He fooled me. How does a little kid fool you? He's smarter than you. Are. Yeah, smarter than you. Clear. Hey, 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 folks, let's calm down, okay? Calm down. Now look, I know this day hasn't gone as smoothly as we may have liked, but we do have the results. So since Regina doesn't have a dog in this fight, let's let her total it up, okay? So where are the results? If they were right here, what happened to them? Hey, Dr. Ellis, are you talking about <laughs> these results? <laughs> mm, these results. <laughs> Well, you know what? This actually reminds me of a time back in 99. Shut up, Jeff! Yeah. 